I hear this debated all the time. And the answer to this question is, it depends. Uh, we really like to leverage landing pages still uh, to test against the main treatment conditions or content pages that we're driving ads to uh, on the website. The benefit of landing pages is you can really kind of strip it down and focus it on social proof and the content needed to educate and convert uh, a potential lead but that is typically not the best practice in terms of optimizing for SEO, um, a condition or treatment page that you are advertising on say Google ads, because you really want it to be robust. You want to have tons of content um, so it can compete and rank really well, especially in competitive areas. So there's kind of finding a balance between the two. There's a lot from a philosophical standpoint that say, Consumers are, are very educated now. They want to do their own research. Um, so the more that you give them, the better. Let them look around the website and then convert on their own time. But we also believe it's really important to test that against some streamlined landing pages. Um, we even build micro sites that just have kind of a branded homepage and the set of services that we're focusing all of our advertising on and have seen incredible success leveraging that as well. So it's kind of expanding out on the theory of a landing page by creating a micro site with multiple landing pages of kind of the honed in treatments that we're focused on driving new patients and revenue to. So the answer is it depends, but it's really great to always test against your main website.